Hey, you might think I'm the dumbest person on planet Earth, but check this well, out. And of course, that's a motivation. But the main motivation is fundamentally to change the Constitution by practice to transfer power from the legislative branch to the executive branch, to make us more like Britain and less like the United States. And the reason he does is that he realizes that the left will win general elections for president routinely, especially if we permit him to complete this process of addicting America to entitlements and flooding the nation with illegal immigrants. And so it makes sense to transfer power from the legislative branch, which the Democrats may not always control, to the presidency, which they hope they always will be able to control. Wow. Dick, Obama seems to be obsessed with the environment. Why? This is the way that an authoritarian government becomes a totalitarian government. One that dominates the governing structure becomes one that dominates your entire life. And they do so in the name of climate change and global warming. Uh, years ago, in the 1960s, the Club of Rome was formed. That was an organization that still exists, that has a statutory 100-person membership, and it's composed of most of the major former leaders of the world. Wait a minute. Most of the former leaders of the world were in this club. So leaders of the world, meaning different countries, so what I've been hearing is that the leaders of the world actually know each other and I think that this shows it, yes or no. The goal is global governance. And okay. they said that the only way you can achieve global governance is by creating a global problem that can only be solved by a global solution. So okay, the global people the global government should be a uh, uh, a table or a group of people that are humanitarians. And everything should be made for the earth and for humans and for plants and animals to be better. And if you're not doing that stuff, then you can't be a governor. Overcomes national boundaries because the world has to act together. And they originally thought overpopulation would be it, but it turned out that was not a problem, so they seized on climate change. Okay, overpopulation, they said it's not it. Um, active climate change is for 17 years. There's been no climate change in the world. It's been absolutely flat. We had a lot of increase in warming in the 80s and 90s, but since 1997, none. So it's really becoming increasingly a phony issue. But nevertheless, they're using it to try to regiment the world. And they're using a blueprint that was developed in 1992 at the Treaty of Rio, uh, the Rio de Janeiro Conference on Global Environment. Look at all the different types of countries they there. something called Agenda 21, which was a... Look at these guys. These are the guys we let run us? The, they keep saying that... There's, there's 7 billion of us on this planet. These are the people running stuff? Come on, give me a break. Series of goals for environmental... Him? Him? He's runs, he tells us how to run the world? <laughs> utility regulation and all other aspects of our lives. Look at Arabia. Move against climate change. Where's these guys Obama's from? Obama's environmental regulations are designed to get into our everyday life. Uh, for example, electrical meters. Obama wants to replace your electric meter that says how much electricity did you use with what they call a smart meter. And in fact, in California, yep, they require this. smart meters. And uh, homeowners are often resistant. And when they're out, the company will come in and put in a smart meter in their, in their home. What's the difference? A, a smart meter regulates where you're using the electricity and when you're using it. It says which room of your house, which socket in your house is using electricity at what time of day and what for. 
and it will lead to pricing of utility rates to tell people when they can and when they can't. This is why we got to go solar. But there's a more important thing that, that lies behind all of this. Obama wants to control American business. The only way to do that is by controlling their energy output. If Obama has his way, every manufacturing company, every energy producing company will need the government's permission to operate. And the idea is that therefore the federal government can use that power to regulate every aspect of our industrial society. Every power plant, every manufacturing product, every business, every school, every home, by using the power to regulate electricity to require them to conform to the Agenda 21 requisite that he set up. In the next segment, Dick Morris says the wow. internet is the key to winning political debate in America and why Obama's policies threaten our freedoms. Stay tuned. Make sure to get your copy of Dick Morris' bestseller, Power Grab, available at bookstores. So do the people have any say in anything anymore or not? 